Hello world. In this post I'm going to show you how to change the current pagination in WordPress, this older and new post down here, into some page pagination where it has the page numbers, etc. So to do that, we need to of course dig into the WordPress theme files. So right now you notice I only have like two posts showing up. That's because in the dashboard under settings reading, I changed this from 10 to 2 because I don't have very many posts in this um, example here so I can have pagination showing down here. Alright so this is my uh, index template which is my default blog template. You can see down here that uh, I have this function called the post navigation and that's what outputs the newer and older post and if you right click this and inspect it you can see that it displayed the market for you so you have nav links, nav previous, and nav next. And you can use these classes to style them, you know, move new or over to the right hand side. I'm sure you've seen it on other blog posts. But for this example, I want to make this into page numbers. So WordPress has this nifty function called the post navigate or the post pagination. So if we just grab this function and we replace this one here, save it and refresh the home page there you go we can see that we have the pagination now with page numbers once you're on the first page the previous goes away and you can you can click through each one and works perfectly so I'm gonna add some uh, styling to this real quick some styling that I've already created um, put it in here you can see I'm using Flexbox, um, so the pagination, I'm going to justify it to the center, so everything's in the center, and then I just add some styling to the page numbers, the current, and the hover. So let's save that. So now you can see I have a little bit of styling here. Another thing I want to show you is you can actually change the text from previous to next. So if you go back to the, the codex, you can see that they have some uh, parameters here that you can pass to an array and you can change you know the previous and next text you can also do the mid size which shows right here how many page numbers display to either side of the current page so defaults to one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this here I'll just grab the whole thing copy that and put it in here I'm fine with the default page size, but what I want to show you is of course you need to change your text domain so it can be translation ready. WP. So now instead of previous and next it's going to say back and onward. So there we go, back and onward. But what I want to do is actually um, add some icons in there, you know, maybe some arrows that have the left arrow and the right arrow. So we can do that pretty easily. We can uh, just concatenate a string here. So I'm going to, since Font Awesome is already in my theme, I'm going to go over to Font Awesome Icons, uh, grab an arrow, arrow left, and grab this code here and I'm gonna put that in right here so you see what I did there I have put in here and then a period after so that joins them together so with that we should be able to see uh, a left arrow in front of back so there we have it so of course you know you may want to add a space after this put a little but what I'm actually going to do is make that back just be screen reader text only. So I can do that by span class equals and I have it styled already where if you add a class screen reader text it'll make it disappear you know unless you're on a screen reader. So I also need to close that span on this side of it. So period Span C 
save that so there we go so now if you inspect this you'll see that I have this arrow here and then the screen reader text is still in case people are you know viewing the site and need help navigating the site so instead of just removing it you know it's always good to have the screen reader text same with up here on this h2 this says post navigation for screen reader text so I'm gonna do the same thing for the onward I'm gonna change this back to you know, previous page next page since it's only gonna be for screen readers So the same thing, screen reader, then period, I need to close that span, and then add an icon there, and copy, and this one's going to be a right arrow, there we go. Oops, looks like I have a didn't open this bracket here. There we have it. So that's a quick tutorial and shows you how to change the default WordPress pagination into um, page pagination. Feel free to comment in the section below if you have any questions.